Dear Blizzard, Hi, it's me, Austin. Actually, you probably don't know who I am. I've never written to you before, but I've played most of your games. Warcraft 1, 2, 3, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, Starcraft 2, Diablos 1 through 3, and now, finally, against my better judgment, I bought Overwatch because I just can't help myself when it comes to you. The first thing I noticed upon booting up the game was that ass. Uh, I mean, the interesting and diverse cast of characters you've compiled. Like, if Pixar were to build a murder squad out of lovable and cute and confusingly sexy characters, yes! even Roadhog. Anyway, after I returned from the dark recesses of the internet and wiped my desk down, I finally got started into the game and noticed that this unique cast of characters also comes with a host of interesting and absurd powers. And the very first thing I thought was, oh fucking boy, I can't wait to tear these apart. My favorite weapon of death in the entire game so far from a scientific standpoint has got to be Lucio's Sonic Amplifier, which shoots out sonic pulses of death at enemies and is capable of actually killing them through the use of sound waves. Is this even fucking possible? The answer may surprise you. First, in order to look at whether or not sound can kill you, we have to look at what sound actually is. We think of sound as what we hear with our ears, but it's actually quite a bit more complicated than that. Sound is a vibration in the form of a wave traveling through a medium, either a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And if you zoom up close enough to this wave on a molecular level, sound is the transference of energy from particle to particle, kind of like a row of dominoes knocking into one another. Every sound has a source of energy that creates it, either in the form of a speaker or something striking something else or something getting very hot very very quickly the louder the sound the more energy was used to create it what we hear is just this vibration reaching our eardrums and transferring energy into them and causing them to vibrate nerves then take those vibrations turn it into a signal and sends it to our brains tons of sounds exist though that we can't actually hear but they're still there. So it stands to reason that if you just built a speaker and put enough power through it, eventually those molecules bumping into each other will transfer enough energy to disrupt the operational ability of our organs and impart enough sheer force to tear you open. So how much energy does Lucio's sound amplifier have to output to be as dangerous as, say, a bullet? Let's take, let's take something small, like a 9mm round. Small, but effective, a 9mm is more than capable of punching through your flesh and slicing organs and blood vessels. A 9mm delivers a surprisingly tame energy of 500 joules. The key is that this 500 joules is contained in a very, very tiny package, so the actual energy density of the ballistic weapon is quite high, which is why it can cause so much damage to your body if it makes contact. So. How loud would our little stereo blast have to be in order to deliver 500 joules of energy to its target? Believe it or not, this is a surprisingly difficult thing to figure out. Loudness is measured in decibels, which we'll get to more in a bit. What you need to know for now is that decibels are measured in watts, which for those of you who are frequent watchers of my show will remember is joules per second. Uh, for the sake of easiness, we're going to presume that all the energy is delivered over the span of a second, which means our 500 joules is now 500 watts. Now, to get how many decibels you need at sea level to deliver that amount of force to a target, we're gonna have to do some math. Decibel formulas are a little depressingly complicated, so I won't bother you with the details, but here, look at it. Look at how pretty it is with its logarithmic functions and all that. Anyway, plug the numbers in, pull the lever on your mechanical calculator, and boom! You get your answer. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, it's just, in order to understand why 270 decibels is certifiably ludicrous, we're gonna have to talk about decibels. So this formula has a log in it. That's not log as in log cabin, but rather logarithm, which is a mathy way of saying that something increases logarithmically. Okay, that's still mathy. So, okay, so how about this? For every 10 decibels you increase, the power of the sound wave is actually increased 10 times. So 20 decibels isn't actually twice as powerful as 10 like you'd think, but rather 20 decibels is 10 times more powerful than 10 decibels. 
And here's some examples. 15 decibels is the sound of a pin dropping. Uh, 40 decibels is the sound of a quiet whisper. 60 decibels is a normal speaking volume. And as you get higher, the volumes start to get intense. Scientists at the European Space Agency have a speaker capable of producing sounds as loud as 154 decibels, which they use to test satellite equipment to make sure it can handle the raucous sound waves produced during space shuttle launches. This speaker is the size of a goddamn car and simulates the amount of noise created by a space shuttle. Sounds of this volume can easily burst your eardrums within seconds of exposure. Which brings us back to the 270 decibels required for our sound gun to deliver the energy of one bullet. As I mentioned earlier, sound is created by energy, like the tapping of your finger upon a desk or electricity sending pulses to your speakers and making them vibrate. The energy required to create a sound wave of 270 decibels? A nuclear fucking bomb. In fact, several nuclear bombs because the sonic boom created by a nuclear weapon which produces winds in excess of over 300 miles per fucking hour clocks in at only 230 decibels, several hundred times less power than our pesky 9mm gun. Each pull of the trigger of this thing would be like fucking Hiroshima or Nagasaki all over again. In fact, the least of your worries would be the fucking sound waves. This is a bit extreme though, so let's dial it the fuck back. As, as little as 200 decibels can actually kill a person from sheer force. During World War II, victims in London were found dead with no external injuries. When autopsies were performed, it was discovered that shockwaves from bombs being dropped on the city had eviscerated their organs. So yeah, we don't need a nuke to kill people with sound, we just need a fucking aerial assault bomb. That's the stuff. Every time you pull the trigger, it's like a fucking World War II carpet bomb exploding in the barrel. And there's no fucking way that gun is containing all that energy. Hell no, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, and the kickback alone should be ripping your arm off, and the explosion would be blowing your body apart shortly after, successfully killing your opponent with sound waves, sure, but making sure that you and your team are piles of mulchy goo in the process! Do not mess around with this technology! <sighs> okay, so... The reason that killing with sound doesn't work particularly well is because all sound is created from an energy source, and the source is always significantly more powerful than the sound it creates. So, any sound you make that's going to be powerful enough to kill someone is going to be coming from a source that's powerful enough to kill many someones. And, ultimately, the sound will be the least of your problems. But that's okay, Blizzard. I'll still play your game. Although I'll probably keep it on mute. Sincerely. Austin. P.S. Hey, do you want a shoddy cast shirt? Or a phone case? Or a personally sculpted dildo? Well, you can't have that, but you can have a shirt. We're planning on making some shoddy cast stuff, but we need your input. Cool fact, we're actually making the merchandise through Crowdmade, which lets fans submit and vote for designs that they like, which means that you will get to pick the swag that represents us. Before we get started though, we have a quick survey that we need you to fill out that lets us know what you'd be interested in. Just click the link in the description or type this long and complicated Google link into your browser and fill it in. Let us know what you want. Thank you everyone for watching my video about sound guns. I really like Overwatch, strangely. I haven't played first-person shooters in years, and now I'm like, Doom and Overwatch are my life, and I love it! Uh, are there any other science questions you'd like to know about? There's lots of weird powers in Overwatch that I'd like to look into. I almost did another one that I'm not gonna talk about, because I'll probably do it eventually. Um, but what about you? Is there any I couldn't- I was looking, I was like, oh, some of these make sense, but maybe someone has a more pressing question than I do. And if you wanna know about any other franchise's weird science in their video games, just ask me! Right down there! I'll talk, I'll probably look into it. I may, may not. I'll try. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you like our channel and you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to our channel. It's just a click of a button. And it's just one of the many YouTube channels you can subscribe to. Uh, and I'd like to throw out a personal thank you to our Patreon supporters who make this show possible. You guys are the best. And if you would like to become a Patreon supporter, you can go to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash shoddycast, and donate whatever you can. If you donate $3, you get early access to most videos. Not all, because sometimes I'm doing them and they get done at like 3 a.m. 
the day that they're due. So not all the time, most of the time, definitely early access to uh, our Storyteller series and other stuff. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, bye.